Okay, let's clarify something. If you haven't yet, please watch my when is the breeze redesign coming video which addresses that question. But long story short, we are rolling out a redesign of breeze very slowly in multiple versions since at least a year ago. What I didn't address in the video is what's Blue Ocean? The answer is simple, it's an internal name for the general idea of this breeze redesign, especially the app style. It includes a new style for buttons, checkboxes, menus and so on. Given the above, it would be very fair for you to see this merge request which says Blue Ocean the merge request and uh, ask yourself what's going on. Well, well, it's simply a patch that implements a lot of stuff from the redesign. Some stuff was implemented already, some is lacking, but lots of it is in this patch. So this could be one of my favorite merge requests since the top area one, both of which are authored by Janet Blackquill. She's really one great styling dev. So let's take a look. What are we waiting for? Let's open up Kate. First of all, notice the tabs. You probably already seen that. This is an existing change, but still, with this new blue line, it looks much better. This comes from the Blue Ocean concept. On the left, we can see that the styling of the tool buttons changed. They now have a pretty gray outline when they are in the press state and a blue highlight when you click on them. You should be able to recognize the plasma highlight here. We are bringing the highlight pretty much everywhere and you say we aren't trying to make plasma more consistent. Let's click on the tabs buttons. And whoa, what happened to the radio buttons? They also use the new style and highlight. They look prettier and more like normal radio buttons. But the best part comes now. What if I actually try to change the indentation mode to tabs as you all should anyway? Well, look at here. The new highlights comes to menus as well. And it looks great. By the way, give a look to this context menu. It has this blue highlight and this top area along with a couple of middle area. If you open up an applet like the clipboard, we get the same concept. Top area, highlight. This is not a new change, but let's show it anyway. If you type a lot of text, like a lot of it, the right sidebar shows the consistent highlight as well. Consistency for the win. Let's move to the settings menu bar. Ah, uh, also notice how more elegant is this light grey indicator for the menu bar. Now look how pretty are the new checkboxes. Everything is now prettier and more consistent. Let me open up KDN Live now. See how elegant the changes are on dark mode as well. We can see them throughout the UI. But it does not end there. Look at the bottom right. We also have a new prettier sliders, which you want to believe this, they use the new highlights. After applying this patch and using KDE in Live, I felt like I was using a completely redesigned application. This is such an improvement. There are also less eye-catching changes, like the pressed state for buttons, but still better than before. There's still some stuff missing, like this other highlight is the old one and will eventually be somehow improved, but it comes with some technological difficulties, so we're not trying to hurry the changes. So that should be pretty much it. Lots of pretty changes coming up. Our end goal is to make people who say, Breeze is so ugly, regret it immensely. Bye.